G'day folks, it's Robert from Outback Equipment. Uh, today's tinny build series, we'll be installing a brand new bilge pump from Shoreflow. So join us along with the install of this video. So guys, before install, I'll run you through a couple of the essential tools and products you'll need for install. Um, of course, we've got our bilge hose. Um, with the outlet of the bilge pump, we were obviously using a 19 mil bilge hose. Um, we do have a skin fitting too, a couple hose clamps, um, some heat shrink, some connectors obviously there for your wiring. We will require a drill and hole saw too if you are installing a skin fitting. And your basic tools like a screwdriver and other connectors there as well. Now while we explained all that, um, next step being would be jumping at the back of the boat, now finding out the location where we're gonna install the bilge pump. So meet you around the back. Now the back of the boat, uh, with our Shoreflow bilge pump, uh, we're looking for a location to install the pump. Um, thankfully at the back of the boat here, we already have a dedicated plate that's already been fitted by manufacturer. Um, so for the install of this one, we'll be going to be mounting it directly onto there. At the bottom of the base there, like most pumps do, they do have a protectant housing there for obviously where you would mount to the bottom of the hull. Um, so for any foreign objects down the bottom of the hull, it's going to protect your blade from obviously pumping out through that water. Um, and makes the install a lot easier there as well too. Um, with the install too, we're going to just basically be using Sikaflex to uh, fix it to the bottom of the hull there. In some cases, with a lot of bilge pump installs, um, you can obviously mount it directly to the bottom of the hull. Um, because mounting to the, directly to the bottom of the hull, you probably still want to second flex it into that particular particular area as well. The reason why we've chosen the 700 gallons per hour bilge pump, um, great all around size, quite compact for its size there too, so fitting for in terms of location is quite, uh, quite helpful. Now they do range obviously from being from 250 right up to the 4,000, 5,000 size. This is pretty common size for this sort of size boat, being a 4.2 meter boat. Obviously going too big there too, it's a little bit overkill for, for some of the, the, the small little boats. So great all around product, awesome little compact little size, um, and it'll work really well with this project. It does come also with your wires from the pump too, uh, making install very, very simple. So location we've chosen, this is where it's gonna be mounted and faced. So the back of the bilge pump with your outlet, the hose is gonna be running towards the back of the boat, which we can wrap it around. Um, next step from here would then be basically running your wires either to battery or switch. So we'll go ahead and do that now and bang it in. So now that you've unwrapped your, unraveled your leads, um, this is going to require extra bit of wiring to core to the actual switch panel we're running to. So we'll go ahead and, and run that through the back of the boat. Uh, we're going to be running it underneath the hole and straight basically down to the, the switch panel. So now that our only leads go to the back of the, the seat, um, I've come at the top of the, to the, the switch panel. We're going to basically run our leads to, to the back of the wiring and cut it to the right length. So now that you've cut the wire from the back of the, the switch to the bilge pump, uh, we're going to connect these via connector and go ahead and saw that right now. So now that you've connected your power lead to the back of your bilge pump, it um, should look something like this. Um, not requiring having to do the same with the negative because we'll be wiring that straight to the battery. Um, so it's, it's within that reach, you're not having to do anything there. Uh, next step, we'll just jump right at the switch panel. We'll go ahead and connect that and wire that all up. So now the switch panel will go ahead and take off the fascia plate so we can gain access to the back of the switch. Um, so that way we can start wiring up to, to one of the, our toggle switches. So if you watched our previous episode with the install of the switch panel box and buzz bar, um, the install now, all we're running our power lead directly to the back of the switch, which is nice and simple, um, which we'll go ahead now and install. So once you've done that, we'll go ahead straight away and just connect it to the back of the switch. So a good thing before packing everything away, um, just as a quick little test now that we do have power to the back of the switch, um, all you'll need to require is running the negative lead from the bilge pump to the battery. So hopefully when flicking the switch, we have power. Now while that's working, now we're right to slap everything back together. So before we head down the back of this bilge pump, while we're at the switch, we'll run some split tube. Uh, it's good practice obviously to protect your leads for any cuts or abrasions. Uh, we'll go ahead and install that now. Okay, so once you run through all your split tube to the back of the bilge pump, um, back of the bilge pump, we've got our negative lead now. Uh, we wanna go ahead and connect that to the battery. So we'll go ahead and connect our crimp um, terminal lead and we'll go ahead and install that now. Okay, so once you've installed your terminal now, um, we probably want to do exactly the same with this one. We'll run some QLT just to protect that lead as well. So next step with your bilge pump install, once you've powered up and 
run all your power leads to your battery and you've got power to the switch now. We want to jump into uh, connecting your bilge hose and skin fitting. Um, for this obviously you probably want to cut again length to, to where we want to install. I'll jump around the back of the boat and show you where we're going to install it. Um, it is probably good to be mindful of obviously when installing one, finding a location on the boat is pretty important. Not only you want to be looking from the outside of the boat, but inside too, being mindful of the structure of the hull and the shape of the hull too. Um, it's sometimes best to be eyeballing it from the very top of the boat, looking down and getting that pinpoint of where you want to install. So guys, with our skin fitting, we've actually chosen from the range of Relaxin. Uh, you can pick these up from our store. Um, very strong, durable, made out of nylon, fantastic all around product. We'll go ahead and whack it in now. Guys, it's also good to pay close attention to the, height of the size of hole saw you're actually using, making sure it's no wider than the actual outer flange of the skin fitting. So we'll go and drill that hole now. So now that's the skin fitting on the other side. Once we've got that all lined up, we've chosen being at the top of the, the hole there. With our bilge pump, we kind of want to run it from the top to the shape of the hole. Um, underneath the ribbing there, straight to the bilge pump. So once you've installed your skin fitting with your bilge hose, just grab your hose clamp, stainless steel hose clamp, we'll go whack it on the back end of your skin fitting, tighten up the hose clamp and whack that in. So we've finished connecting your bilge hose, hose clamp to the back of the skin fitting. That's all nice and tied in there now, secured. Uh, we'll cut now the length to required now to the bilge pump. So now we're threading your bilge hose to the other side, doing exactly the same side to your bilge pump as we were with skin fitting with your hose clamp and connect that on. Guys, once that's all connected now, um, we want to glue the housing of your bilge pump to the base. Um, it's good to grab perhaps an old rag towel, tea towel or something like that to dry the area up before. Um, as we are gluing this to the base, we just want to make sure that air in that surface is really dry. Looks good there. With this next part too, you don't have to leave the housing, the base of the bilge pump on. Um, I do like to take this off so that way it doesn't have any weight of movement with all the fittings on there. Um, so that way you get a nice contact with your glue to the base there of the, of the plate. So once we've glued that housing out to the base of the plate, um, we'll just let that dry. It's probably best to let that dry for a couple of hours there. Um, before obviously stalling back the, the bilge pump on. Um, once that's done, we can basically put the bilge on on top and uh, we're all complete. Cool guys, so that's finished the install of your brand new bilge pump. Um, again, before probably taking it out, ideally you probably want to wind up the jockey wheel, fill the boat up with a bit of water, just make sure it's pumping out. Um, and again, thanks guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for next coming episodes. If you've got any questions, leave your comments down below. Give the video a big thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next video.